question today is about change of state and latent heat. What mass of steam initially at 130 degrees Celsius is needed to warm 200 grams of water in glass container of mass 100 grams from 20 degrees Celsius to 50 degrees Celsius if the specific heat capacity of steam is 200 joules per kilogram per Kelvin Specific heat capacity of water is 4,200 joules per kilogram per Kelvin. Specific latent heat of vaporization of water is 2.26 times 10 power 6 joules per kilogram. Specific heat capacity of glass is 840 joules per kilogram per Kelvin. So first, let us interpret this. We have steam passed through water, water in a glass container. So we have steam. And on the other hand, we have water and glass. These two are brought together. Remember, steam is at 130 degrees Celsius. And we have water and glass at 20 degrees Celsius. So when the two are brought together, steam will be losing heat to water and glass as water and glass gains the heat. That will take place until they arrive at a temperature of 50 degrees Celsius. So steam will lose heat to water and glass until its temperature gets to 50 degrees Celsius. Water and glass will gain the heat as its temperature rises to 50 degrees Celsius. By principle of conservation of energy, you know, heat lost by steam is equal to heat gained by water and glass. So let us consider the temperature change in steam. We'll consider this graph. So a graph of temperature against time. Temperature of steam reduces from 130 degrees Celsius up to a point where we have a change in state. So at this point, that is 100 degrees Celsius. At this point, there's a change of state. So it takes place at a constant temperature. And then below 100 degrees Celsius, we'll have the temperature changing up to a point it gets to 50 degrees Celsius. On the left-hand side of this equation, we are going to have heat lost by steam. We have in this section, the temperature changing from 130 to 100. So we have mass of steam times the specific heat capacity of steam times the temperature change there. And then we'll have to add it to the heat lost here during the change of state. And that is mass of steam times latent heat of vaporization. We'll also add it to the heat lost as the temperature changes from 100 to 50. So at this point, steam has already converted into water. So we have the same mass of steam times the specific heat capacity of water times the temperature change for water. Now on the right hand side, we'll have heat gained by water and glass. So we'll take the mass of water times specific heat capacity of water times the temperature change of water. We'll also add that to the heat gained by glass, that is mass of glass, times specific heat capacity of glass, times the temperature change for glass. Now on the left hand side, because we're looking for the mass of steam, I want us to factor out the mass of steam. We'll have mass of steam into specific heat capacity of steam times the temperature change there plus latent heat of vaporization, plus specific heat capacity of water times the temperature change there. And then on the right hand side, we'll have, sorry. So let us do our substitutions. So we have mass of steam into specific heat capacity of steam, we are told is 200. So we have 
200 times change in temperature that is for steam remember that is between 130 and 100 so the temperature change there is 30 so 130 minus 100 the next thing we add the latent heat of vaporization which is 2.26 times 10 power 6 and then for this part we have specific heat capacity of water we are told is 4200 and the temperature change there remember we are now at this point from 100 up to 50 the temperature change is 50 so we multiply by 50 and on the right hand side we'll have mass of water which we are told is 200 grams 200 grams in kilograms is 0 0.2 and then we multiply by specific heat capacity of water which is 4200 and the temperature change here is remember we are heating water and glass from 20 degrees celsius to 50 so the temperature change there is 50 minus 20 and that is 30 that is for water and then we'll also add for glass the mass of glass is 100 grams and 100 grams in kilograms is 0 0.1 times specific heat capacity of glass we are given as 840 joules per kilogram per kelvin we'll multiply by 840 times the temperature change for glass is the same as that one for water which is 30. now when you work out the left hand side this from my calculator I'm able to get 2,476,000 times mass of steam. And then on the right hand side, when you work out these, we get 27,720. Now, dividing both sides by 2,476,000, the mass of steam therefore becomes, so when you divide this, we have 0. 0 0.011195 kilograms and that is the mass of steam as had been required in the question with that we come to the end of the solution to this problem thank you for watching see you next time mm -hmm.